All right, boys and girls, what's on the agenda today? Well, uh, on my medical mutual, I've had uh, their insurance for quite a long time. I um, pay for my own rather than through work because I think it's a better program, a better insurance policy. But uh, for the longest time, I was getting emails to sign up for this SWORD kit, this program. And I just didn't really deal with it. It was supposed to have been something to help your health and different programs that they had within that program. And um, so finally, uh, <clears throat> I'd gotten another email. So on December the 31st of 2023, I thought, well, let me go ahead and sign up for this thing. They were supposed to send you some items out. And um, you teamed up with somebody that... Uh, would help you with through several programs for for your health fitness so I thought okay we'll, we'll do that but in the process of answering their questions uh, when I got done I thought well just didn't like the way it was going and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why so I sent them an email uh, at uh, showing here at 12 12 p.m. on the 31st of December basically uh, telling them to please stop um, do, do not send me this because it was almost immediately that I sent the email and I said uh, to take me off the program immediately and that um, so anyways and then I also said um, also let me be very clear on the following I took extreme offense to the question you asked about what's your gender identity I knew at that point I was dealing with woke morons you are either male or female, period. And uh, then you wanted to know what pronouns to use when talking to me. I chose other because the option given were he, him, his, she, her, hers, they, them, theirs. That left me with the only choice of other. But, no, but there was no other option. Other, uh, it didn't say male or female. It was just others. And I thought, you got to be kidding me. So I said, stop being woke. There are only two genders, male and female. Get your head out of your ass and stop trying to spread this bullshit. This country is going to hell. Then I also said on there, by the way, I go by Mr. as in male. You never gave me that choice. Why? A few days later, I got a notice that they had sent this thing out. And um, I just disregarded it. I figured, well, you were told, I, you know. But then on January 3rd of 24, from a Kayla B, K-A-Y-L-A, uh, last initial B, from Sword Health, she said, Hi, this is Kayla, your care coordinator from Sword Health. I hope you are doing well. I am so sorry to hear that our line of questioning during the application process did not meet your standards. We always appreciate feedback, and I will be happy to escalate your concerns. It looks like your kid is already in transit. I apologize that we were not able to intercept the shipment. You should receive the kit today, which I didn't, but we kindly ask that you return the kit back to us with the prepaid la uh, return label. If you have any additional questions, please let me know. All the best, Kayla. And it said, um, had, had that... Uh, with below that email, I copy of the email that I had sent them to stop and not send me the uh, the kit. So I thought, well, let me send them back an email on the 4th. And I said, Kayla, within minutes of my not clearly understanding your promotion quotes, I, I alerted Sword by the only means available, parentheses email, and as parentheses, to me to stop the order. For reasons beyond my control, the powers that be still went against my wishes and sent my, me the order. Why? Uh, not my fault, not my issue. You sent me the package, I clearly canceled. Then I, then I had here three different questions, and here's how I wrote them. Please answer this question. Why, when I selected other, and then parentheses, as in, as it was my only option, and a parentheses, did I not have a drop-down box so I could tell you how I wanted to be addressed? Not that silly pronoun garbage. Second question. Please answer this question. Why did you ask, parentheses, or quotes, what's your gender identity? End of uh, quotes. Has the medical field gone out of its mind? Only male and female. You can't be anything else. Prove me wrong. And then the next question. 
please answer this question. And I had these separate like that because I, I, you know, sometimes you send questions to companies and, you know, you have one, two, three, and then they'll answer one of them, and then they won't put any numbers. And so I thought if I've got these three distinctly, you know, in each uh, paragraph, that uh, I'm letting them know I want an answer to each one. So please fully describe to me what is meant by, and I have he, him, his, and she, her, hers, and they, them, theirs. Understanding Einstein's theory of special relativity is comprehensible. Pronouns describing a human being isn't. I will be anticipating your thoughtful answers to my questions. And then I have down Mr. in the parentheses, as in male with no woke pronouns, and then my name. So within a few hours, I actually received a uh, email back from a Melissa and I'll spell her last name, C-I-N-N-A-N-T-E, from Sword Health, uh, on the 4th, again, just a couple hours later, said, Hi, we have removed you from all marketing and communications for our program. Since the kit was already sent out and we cannot stop it from being delivered, you can either return it using the return instructions I included below, or you can discard the kit. Have a great day. So... That is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to just discard the kit. Like I said, I think this, uh, we're, we're, we're going beyond, I just can't understand, you know, just don't understand what's going on here. In my opinion, there's only male and female. We've gone, we've gone to the extremes. And uh, when you start asking these questions about your pronouns and how you want to be addressed, well, let's also, if you're going to do that, put in Mr. and Mrs. in male and female. Let that be part of the drop-down box. Because uh, you have not addressed how I want to be addressed. Only a, a, a very sh select few. So, you know, I, I just can't be part of that program. You know, I don't care what an adult does. None of my business. But when a business, when a healthcare company is going to go to the extremes and ask these kind of questions, uh, it just, I want no part of it. So, because they just decided to not even have the uh, decency to answer these three questions which I brought to them, I think this deserves a proper send-off. Because I'm not going to send this back to them. They said I could either send it back or just destroy it. And that's what's going to happen today. It's just amazing that they just brushed me off and wouldn't even answer three simple questions, which obviously they should know what the answer is, because I sure don't.